The music is, has always been a big part of my life. My grandmother played banjo and she, she uh, taught me how to play banjo when I was really young. That really had a big effect on me. I, from the time I can remember, I've always been into music. You know, I thought, I just thought everybody did it in the world. You know, I thought Appalachia was just everybody. You can find somebody who knows something about Appalachia or Kentucky or traditional music all over the place and I, and I love that and I think it's great. The people I know who have traveled to Ireland to play music and share traditional, they find so many common tunes and, and so many commonalities about where they're from. I think that's just wonderful. Like Again, that's one of the beautiful things about our past that we can carry on and, and take with us. I believe it's really important uh, to, to understand who you are if you don't understand your past and I also think it's really important for the next generation that you pass on what was in the past as well so that um, people can get a sense of who they are and people can understand the things that went wrong in the past. I often assume that everything in Northern Ireland is divided by religion or politics. I disagree with that because in my experience I find that there's a class dimension. Middle class people who like to pour scorn on Ulster Scots because they, they think themselves as being a little bit superior, a bit more sophisticated, and they see Ulster Scots as being a kind of a backward, rural, historical thing. I'm not ashamed to have to speak it. I, I wouldn't be afraid to go up to New York City and start talking the way I do. <laughs> Play my music is just like this is this is who I am, this is what I do, and growing up around here, we're just a combination of everybody that came before us, whether we realize it or not. And I think that that music, it sort of comes out, it's like you just do it, and it's just, to me, it's just kind of like your ancestors coming out of you in a way. Everything that's came before and everything that's made this area of what it is that's kind of embedded in you, whether you appreciate it or not. It's complex and simple at the same time, uh, being Appalachian and, and just Appalachian in general. I know that a lot of people have become disconnected from these traditions and their heritage and their sense of identity. And they leave for economic reasons, which I can understand greatly, but at the same time, a lot of our culture is left. They, they didn't understand the beauty, what, what is here. Northern Ireland's always been very complicated. Also Scots is kind of part of that. It has its own identity, but it equal, equally it blends in, so it, it, it's hard to sort of define the cutoff point. People have been hung up on the, the politics here for, for far too long. Over the trouble period, people hid their fiddles away and worried that their neighbours or friends would think they were sort of sympathising with Southern Ireland, nationalists and all the rest of it. Forgetting that the fiddle is one of the national instruments of Scotland. In the country you helped each other out. You, you relied on your neighbours to help you with hay, bringing in uh, the, the grain or bringing, doing things around farms and being rural, like generally in rural activity, so you relied on each other. You know, I, I would be happy if more often than not people could, could look at the word Appalachian and equate it with um, the best of the best. People don't understand what we have to go through growing up in this region. It's so different than a lot of other places. There's a lot of similarities, but it's just so different. It's so good and bad at the same time. <laughs>
this industry was brought in and they were forced into it and, and battled it for so long until they had no ability to battle it any longer. To ignore all of those factors and say that people around here vote in, against their best interest and you know they've brought this opioid problem on themselves and they don't have any work ethic and can't pull themselves up by the bootstraps, well that's absurd. North Antrim to me is Ulster Scots. You go to Belfast and they say we're Ulster Scots and they haven't a clue. Belfast they would be more of a political thing, green or orange. Whereas in North Antrim, whether you're Catholic or Protestant or what religion you sway to, you're in Ulster Scots because that's the way they speak. I would like to see it more widely accepted or more widely understood and, and to help communities to understand each other better. If, if nobody cares about the place where you grow up, then why should you care about it? You know, if nobody says, this is important, this is valuable, this is interesting, um, why should you be any different? But yet when somebody takes the time to say, to tell you the stories and to point out the things that are really important, then hopefully somewhere you know, a light bulb goes off. I am proud of the people that lived in this part of Appalachia and worked really hard and did the best they could with what they had and brought their Scott-Irish musical heritage over with them and continued to pass that on down their family. It's okay to have both problematic things and things to be proud of in your history and every family has that.